guys, it's me again, and I hope you guys know my name. My name is Dr. Origami. And today, I'm going to teach you how to make a fidget lever. A fidget lever is something I created, and it's it's fun, creative, you can make it at home. You just need some uh, kebab sticks, maybe some tape or hot glue or super glue, and some scissors. And so, fidget lever, I know you guys love fidget spinners, so I, st so I started thinking, maybe, maybe I can make like a fidget lever so me i'm i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give a shout out to one of my friends named sergio we, we created this at school we like to fidget with our pencils and so i'm gonna teach you how to make a fidget lever okay so first we're gonna have to start off with two origami sticks or i mean kebab sticks see the ends right kind of pointy Let's take the scissors and just take one of these. Just cut the edge off. Now for the other one. All right. First, let's measure. Where I'm supposed to cut it so I don't get it wrong. It's good. And cut. Okay, and cut the uh, sharp parts uh, parts off. You might want to uh, figure out where you want your um. Let's see where you want your. How size? What size you want your uh, fidget lever? So I might want it about this big. So I'll cut it about this big. First, I'll take this. Hold on and cut or break. <laughs> First I got this. Look, I don't need to see uh, which, you have to have an exact size, so I'll use this one right here. Take the other stick, put it down, find a place you want to cut it. Take it and snap it off so you have this this Just, let's remove the other parts because they might bother us it might confuse us which ones are the real size so these two are the ones wait uh oh i think i mixed them up let me find ones with the exact size This is almost the exact size, so I'll take this, these two, and I take these two. Might I have to either glue them together like this, or you know, either glue them together or tape it together. So it's probably just gonna work like this. I oh, mean, I should have made a bigger one. It works better with my glove off. Yeah, it works better with my glove off. But I recommend a bigger one. And I'm just going to whip my gloves off. So you take these two. And just try taping them together. I use duct tape or hot glue or super glue. But I just don't want to anything so I'll just take this and let's see if it's so hard to get off 
Okay. I got this tape. Just gonna cut it now. Now just take one of these. Oh man, I have the exact size. Let's try to take this off. Make sure it's the exact size. again do that do it to stick for again do that and then I'm gonna have to cut the end parts off I mean, this is a support prototype prototype so yeah and so this is what I would do I'll take if you had any of these double-sided tapes like this one I would just make it exact about about uh, right about this size cut it and okay and Open it, put it about right in the middle, yeah, about right in the middle, yeah, and then just roll it up. Now, you take extra pieces right here, and, oh man, and this piece right here, you just line it up right there, right there, to over here, okay? So it'll, so how about we make it happen in three, two, one. Oh, look, it's done. Okay, so now that you have this, you can just play it like this. You can also do it like this. It works anyway. It's really fun, but I kind of made it wrong. If you made it a little longer, it works way better. See, if you grab two long sticks like these, do that. Oh look, that's really fun, fidgeting in class. Okay, now I have a special surprise for you guys, okay? I have a collection and I made a, a, a fidget spinners and I'd like to show you guys. Hey look, it's my room again. Look at all of this, fidget spinners. Woo. The two that are right there, the black, red, uh, blue, and a yellow, these do not make any sound. 
See, he's grabbing the blue one right now. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. This thing is awesome. Now, just look at what you're doing. Oh, this is the first time you guys have seen my face. <laughs> okay. Look, you cannot hear any sound. It goes pretty fast, pretty well. And I also have a, another black one. Let's fidget with it. Not hear anything. This one's my personal favorite. Favorite, one of my favorites. I also have this red one. This makes sound. Makes sound. Just a little. This black one. This makes just a little sound. This one, it used to light up, but it, is, it was really cheap and I got it for free. <laughs> you can hear sound, but barely. This white one makes sound, but it just feels good. It just feels really good in your hand. This yellow one. Really pretty good, feels good, like the last one. Mm. Oh my god, this one. The design just looks really good on it. This one, the silver one, I got this from my dad, and so pretty cool. He sells these, so I got this one for free. Actually, I got all of those for free. Not only from my dad, but also from my uncle. If you put this against a uh, lighting up bridge spinner, it'll just look like it's 3D. So, that's all the bridge spinners I have. See you next time. I hope you learned how to make a really nice fidget lever. You can also paint it but make a little longer, okay? See you next time. I'm Dr. Origami, and I do things like this. Bye.